Hi, this week I watched Chariots of Fire, the 1981 Best Picture winner, uh, when Colin Welland, the scriptwriter, so told us that the British were coming. It's the story of a group of Olympic runners at the 1924 Olympics, uh, a range of young men from varying extremely well-off backgrounds and their struggles against, I don't know, to uh, become champions. The film focuses on two characters in particular, Eric Liddell, who was a devout Scottish uh, missionary uh, with a great skill for running, and Harold Abrahams, who was Jewish um, at a time when that was much more of a problem than I think it might be now, although things have changed from what they stay the same, um, who was uh, at Cambridge and was trying to forge a career for himself and acceptance for himself. Uh, or despite the uh, being accepted by his circle of friends and various other runners, uh, was unable to get past uh, two characters in the film. Um, I found this film to be <laughs> really quite poor, and I think it's aged extremely badly. Um, the essence of drama is conflict, and the main characters really don't suffer any great conflict of any kind. Um, there is a degree of prejudice against Abrams for his for being Jewish, but it is never properly resolved. He simply tells off the people who are prejudiced against him and it never really comes up again. Um, Liddell feels conflict because uh, his deep Christian beliefs prevent him from running on Sunday, which becomes a problem when that's the day that the Olympic heats are being held. And there's a very tense meeting between uh, himself and various senior members of the Athletic Society, le led by the Prince of Wales and Patrick McGee. Um, but this is resolved when one of the other team members says, oh, we'll swap places and you can run on a different day. So it's just resolved with no real compromise or conflict. There's um, no sense of sacrifice. There's no sense of character development over the course of the story. No one ends up in a, a different place or has gone through anything that might transform them as a person over the course of the story. And as a result, it's a very cold, unengaging film. Um, there's so little attempt at developing character, at um, engaging you with their struggles, and indeed showing them having any struggles at all other than just trying to be the best at what they're doing. There's no emotional element to the story. Um, I could imagine that someone like Michael Mann might make a terrific version of this story. Where it's about people being driven to be the best at what they are, to the exclusion of any other part of their life. But that doesn't happen either, because Liddell is still very devoted to God and, and becoming a missionary. Um, Abrams develops a relationship with an actress, which is quite poorly written and, and handled within the context of the film. So uh, there's, there's nothing to grab onto. There's, nothing, there's no sufficient conflict within the story to, for it to be engagingly dramatic. And the characters never uh, develop or change in a way that is particularly interesting. On top of that, there is a huge license taken with history, um, and um, I, I feel that if they're going to rewrite history to, to generate this story, they really ought to have just made it more interesting in general and not bothered too much about the uh, fidelity to fact. Um, Colin Welland is not a particularly good writer based on this. Hugh Hudson is not a particularly good director. Um, Vangelis's music, of course, is immortal. But a lot of the time it feels out of step with the tone. Obviously, it's a period film with an electronic score. But although the theme music works extremely well in context, a lot of the other music doesn't. Overall, I found it to be a very disappointing and quite poor film. The idea that it was the best picture winner of 1981 I still find absurd when it beat the likes of uh, Warren Beatty's Reds or Raiders of the Lost Ark, which are both far superior. Um, I don't think this film is really talked about these days uh, as being a, a great work of cinema. It's talked about really only in terms of the music, um, which the theme, of course, is fantastic. But the film itself is weak, dull, generic, quite poorly written. The acting is serviceable, but overall the film is really no kind of world beater.